Hey, what's going on, everybody? Before we get into this episode, we quickly wanted to announce that we finally have merch. You can check that out at represent.com slash bangers and ass. Uh, we also uploaded two episodes last week on our Patreon. So if you want to check those out, go ahead and sign up. Otherwise, enjoy this free episode. Peace. I just want to apologize uh, in advance if I fall asleep this episode. Why? Because uh, I just had a full Thanksgiving meal at Whole Foods. <laughs> it... It's like November thirtieth. A full. It's too late. No, I ate the whole thing. Oh, you fucking Green beans, idiot! Mashed potatoes, stuffing, no one... and turkey with ah gravy on that shit. Oh, no. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, lathered up in gravy. This man is done. And I've just no wonder it I'm took hitting. You so long. What's the fucking chemical in turkey called? You know what I'm talking about? People are always like, "Oh, the turpentine in there, like I, the turpent turkey tine or whatever it's I called." Don't know. Let me look it, it starts up. with a T. Trip to trip to or some shit. Something. Trip to trip to lean. <laughs> Isn't that trip to turkey lean? Something some, like that. Turkey lean. That's basically what it is. Some some bio <laughs> major. Lean. Yeah, turkey lean. It's the lean that they put inside the turkey that makes you really tired. Some bio majors losing their shit. Like, <laughs> no, it's a diff 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 It's diff to top the lean. <laughs> If I trip the trip the lean, it's gonna be something so <laughs> simple, and we're both idiots. <laughs> it's oh, trip the something. It's trip the cycling or some shit. Um, in but the meantime, it, it's it's one of those names where like every single time someone brings it up, at it sounds like a drug. Yeah, like it sounds like a dangerous chemical or some shit. So like every time someone brings it up at Thanksgiving dinner, you know, like I'm sitting after the meal. Yeah, and I'm like, God, man, trip the fan, trip the fan. Yes, trip the fan. Like it sounds like a drug. So every uh, time I'm sitting there after Thanksgiving meal, and I'm like. Oh man, I'm so tired. I'm yawning. You know, some ad adult in the in the room goes, "Oh, it must be the trip to fam." And I'm like, "Did you did you drug my turkey, you motherfucker? What'd you put inside this shit?" <laughs> You're peeking so hard. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh really? <laughs> Keep. I mean, turn you down a little bit. I mean, okay. Then you can get back into character. Okay. Sorry. There we go. All right, back into What'd character. What'd you put inside this shit? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like feeling my pulse. <laughs> what did you do? What's trip to fan like? Am I gonna freak out? <laughs> I'm pumped. Well, I'm going to bust you right here. So I'm high on tryptophan right now. Super high. The oft-repeated turkey myth stems from the fact that turkey contains amino acid. What the fuck? Oh, get out of here, you oh, fucking so it, like, nerd. Doesn't, doesn't actually no, make you... it's still the turkey. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. It's in the turkey. Yeah, yeah. Don't give me that bullshit. I fucking hate that. What? Well, actually, <laughs> you think it's the meat, <laughs> but it's what happens after the fact. It's the fucking turkey. <laughs> All right? Fuck off with that. <laughs> Wait, you know, we <laughs> we missed this last time, uh, and I think we need to keep... Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. We didn't get that on the last one. It felt like, very weird. No, I like I like not doing not saying that. Okay. I think by this point, they already know we're back in the podcast. I think they already know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been five minutes yeah, of us true. talking about tryptophan. Yeah. I think by this point, they're like, they wait know. a minute, they haven't welcomed me yet. <laughs> That's a this is a little. This is really weird. I feel like I'm just like on the outside. It's like I just walked into the hotel lobby and no one said anything. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> Super weird. Welcome yeah. back to the podcast, everyone. We have a uh, a live show mm -hmm. two days from now, Saturday. So this this won't go out on YouTube in that time. But uh, we know exactly I guess if you're, what if, we're going to talk about too. Yeah, well, we, uh, we know exactly. Exactly, we know, we know all exactly. the material. Every single yep. Every we have the set list thing. down to the minute. Actually, yeah. We have it written out. Mazad, the, Mazad said that today when I met with her. She, we we have to send a set list today of like what, <laughs> like, like segments and stuff. So let's just come up with. She was basically like, "All right, you guys need. Uh, I need to send like the show producer or some shit like oh, a set, God. a set like with stage directions and stuff like that." I'm like, "Okay, you can just tell them we're going to be sitting for an hour." Yeah, there you go. Here, now here's the set list. Ready? From zero to ten minutes, dicks. <laughs> ten to twenty, dicks. <laughs> ten to ten to twenty. Double dick. Double dick. 20 to 60. Robot. Triple, robot, robot dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. The double, That's our whole podcast. The double dick guy's not real. What? It's a, it's a, it's a sham. Some dude like photoshopped pe like penises, like a, like random pictures of penises into being two men. Yeah. And then he sold a book on it too? Yeah. It's like a totally made up character. That's why he answers back all creepy and shit because like, it's not real. Yeah, I know. I'm so let down. No way. I'm so let down. <laughs> it's just... I, I feel like I just found out Santa's not real. Yeah, that that to me is definitely how I feel. I'm pissed. No, Double Dick I'm Dan. So what the pissed. fuck? I'm so pissed. And is it, he had his X-Men thing? And I know. That none of just, that... Just <sighs> everything. It's, it's nothing. It's... Fine, right, man. This was fun. I'm, 
I'm gonna head out. Yeah, I'm head out. <laughs> I feel just. I'm, I don't know. I'm all my feelings I'm, now. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the same anymore with this. I don't think this podcast actually will ever be the same without. I mean, fuck you. Double Dick X Men is just too good. I know. That's <laughs> well, I mean, this has kind of been like a this. It's a nice like little beginning, middle, and end to this story, right? It like is, yeah. we, we first discovered Double Dick Dan. We talked about him for a while. Really funny. Read his creepy ass Reddit comments. And then we, and then he all of a sudden became this X Men to us. We found his book. We were reading reviews, and now finally to conclude it all, we find out it's not fucking real. It's a fucking fantasy. Damn. This is mu- this must be what it's like when you die, and then there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, well, that got really dark. Yeah. Then. Why you always got to bring it there to death? I just I can't. I'm trying. To, I was just, just trying to segue into the dark story I was telling you before we got started. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. This one's this one's fun. So well, you just kind of ruined it, but. Can, no, go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, no, I ahead. don't think it's ruined at all. Yeah, well, then now they know that it, it involves death, but still, because that I, was the part that got me when you were telling me. You know what? Why don't you go? I'll just stop. You can go ahead and tell it <laughs> to them. Maybe I'll tell it at the end of the podcast. Maybe I just don't tell it at all. No, tell it. Okay. Well, so does there, if everyone probably probably don't. If anyone knows the song "Move Your Feet" by Junior Senior. Everybody, move your feet and feet and First of all, fuck that song. We're done because it's so like holiday ambiguous. Yeah, they play it for graduations. They play (laughs) it for Christmas because there's like bells in it and shit. Played at basketball games. It's like the go-to safe morning news America song. So true. Yeah. So anytime I hear that song, I am subtly weeping inside because that song reminds me of this dude I used to work with. Hold on, wait. Let's just real quick. It was just playing. As yeah. a hold song. Yes. That's why we started song. talking about this because <laughs> he was on, on hold with his bank. Um, no, and Virgin, Virgin America. Virgin Vir- yeah, yeah. Virgins United. Virgins United. Virgin. Yeah. Virgins <laughs> of America. Virgins he was on America. He was, was on hold with Virgins of America. It's like a support group for virgins. Some chick sent me a DM or no, some chick sent me a letter. Let's just, you know, derail this completely mm-hmm, right now. Let mm-hmm. me just do this. Some chick sent me a handwritten letter in my P.O. box that basically was like, hey, I'm a huge fan, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'm 22. I'm hot. I'm normal. I'm like driven and all this stuff. And I just lost my virginity. So you need to stop virgin shaming. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And so naturally, wow. I I um, I screamed virgin at the letter, yeah. actually. <laughs> Until you fucking just popped a vessel in your head. <laughs> virgin! <laughs> Um, anyway, so the song was playing. You were on cha- you were on call cool. with uh, Virgins, of America, Virgins of America United Support Group, and yeah. this song was playing. What was, were you even talking to them about? Oh, I have cummed for the first time, and I didn't know what that was. <laughs> so I just, I just didn't know if I violated any rules. <laughs> That's to, what it feels like when you first come. Yeah, you know, you remember the first time you ever jizzed? Yep. You're like, oh fuck, something's wrong. This is doesn't. You like, but you're like, oh, it's it, I'm not. I'm not stopping. There's not, no way I'm fucking stopping. But not this me, is, bro. It, what did I had done enough? I was on the internet enough. I'm like, oh, you day, already knew what it was. I was like, yeah, really. This fucking evil seed is gonna shoot out. So I was waiting for the day. That's crazy. Yeah. For me, it was just, it was just like, oh no, no. And then I was like, what is this? And you just. So I tasted it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> I thought it was alone. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry. You reminds me of your coworker. Wait, did you taste it right after you gave yourself a hickey? You were just trying to cross all the bases with yourself. Gave myself a hickey. <laughs> Dude, we'll talk about that later. Okay. 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 <laughs> so. The song. Every time this song plays, it reminds me of this dude he used to work with at Bed Bath and Beyond. So you worked at Bed Bath and Beyond. Yes, you don't remember this, but I told you this. I don't remember this yeah. at all. I was a cashier for the summer, which, as a you know, I'm gonna recommend to dudes. Yeah, that's actually not a terrible summer job when you're like 15. Because of hot college girls. It's just a bunch of college girls or moms taking girls probably at your school to buy dumb shit like trash cans yeah so it's a very easy way to like hey i saw you at the thing and your mom sucks and yeah, stop it and then, oh yeah you you work there right you're yeah a cashier and you're like you're like well no i just like to i help out you know <laughs> actually just no no i don't no then you just go to the i got fired Oh. And you just make up some dumb, mm. you know, whatever, but yeah. secretly you're employee of the month. Yeah. And you love arranging all the soap. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working there, whatever. There's this dude, 
Um, I don't, I don't like to say names. Uh, we're gonna call him Sam. Okay. Okay, it's close enough. Uh, so Sam, are we calling that him that because that's his name? No, it's not his name. Okay, okay. So, man, you over. so Sam, he was kind of, you could tell he was kind of a burnout. Yeah. He was like 27 working there. Okay. I think he just got out of rehab and, okay. like, you know, he's trying to get his shit back so mm-hmm. just together. So he and I kind of bonded because I we've both hated it. And <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond is an obscure place where only two people hate working there. Everyone else loves it. Mm-hmm. Like, they love, like, making sure the pillows are right and counting all the towels and oh you know we got to keep the threading and the right i don't i didn't fucking understand it even the managers like they love that shit which is i don't understand I it's just, weird it's like to me it's like i don't know it, it's like getting closer and closer to like actually being a house that would drive me crazy <laughs> like there's real beds there that you can't nap in mm-hmm. you just gotta look at them mm-hmm. and it's like i think it would be better just to work at some bare bones shit like home depot even though yep. home depot is the most depressing place on earth to me but at least it's like so far away from yeah. actually being like a comfortable like it, Bed Bath and Beyond is you're so close to being a house to, to having to having this blissful silence and everything. But you're not. You're working. You're at work, and you can't sit and just take a nap in the bed if you want to do that. It's like sitting in a pile of Legos. Yeah, and like they have like the thing of how to build whatever, but you're just not allowed to build it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got to tell other people where to get things to yeah. make that thing. <laughs> Like, oh, I exactly. have this too. I want the red blocks. Like, yeah, they're over there. They're over there. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. Mm-mm. Tell me how it is. Dude, also, they make you uh <laughs> they make you get shit on like traditional ladders, which is like such horse shit. I mean, we're talking like whatever the fuck. These things are stacked like, you know, fifty not nah, fifty feet, whatever. They're high enough. Yeah. <laughs> They just make you sign a paper that's like, all right, you're not going to be a pussy uh, on the bladder, right? <laughs> you're like, I I guess. They're like, great. Like, that's what they tell you in the, when you accept the job. They're like, you're, you're not going to be a pussy on the ladder? Yeah, they're just like, you're not afraid of heights, right? Yeah, okay, sign this. You're like, well, technically everyone is, but yeah, yeah that's fine. They're like, yeah, sign this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> all right. Go up there and get fucking that giant rice cooker that's heavier <laughs> than you. Yeah, bring that down on a ladder. You're a huge body pillow. Yeah. You're like, uh. <laughs> yeah, you signed the I'm not a pussy clause. <laughs> can't sue us yeah, no, you see you're crying <laughs> yeah, so me and sean used to fuck around we you know just like some shit we used to do was when we would uh have to there was this section with like candles and like scented shit okay and so the way the uh the shelving worked is like there was like a a, a grate behind it like backing it and what we used to do was when shit was like out of place instead of like finding where it went we just pushed it through these holes okay and we just throw it <laughs> and then we just put up other product behind it. So like you could look like if you got in your leg, like you could look on the floor and see all the shit we <laughs> threw behind the shelves and we would just shit wait. That would never. It, it should have been purchased. But okay. yeah, it's just like, just like m- like fuck mauled candles and shit just like forced through these squares and just on the floor <laughs> in the never land of retail stores. Yeah. So that shit was just like, that was how we got our stress out. We'd do that shit with spoons and like other <laughs> dumb shit. Just you name it. We'd try to hide it. So, uh, he was about to go away on vacation and that song was playing the night we were closing and we were back at it again, you know, fucking candle shitter boys, whatever, throwing shit away. We're having a good time. And this was like the happiest I had seen him because like whatever he's about to like go on vacation and get a call that weekend from my other homie working there. He's like, yo, Sam died. <laughs> and how did he die? He like took his uncle's car and they, they never, they weren't able to figure out if it was suicide, but he went so fast. He went into a trailer that the trunk of the car was in the, um, motor. Like the oh, car was man. just like a box. That is, Oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So that's, <laughs> everyone's at a basketball yeah. game. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah everybody. Popcorn and shit. Movie and, like, and feeling not. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Oh, that's morbid. Holy shit. I miss you, brother. Damn. All right. Well, hey, shout out to Sam. Shout out Sam, Rest bro. easy. Rest yeah. easy. Yeah. He was the man, dude. Yeah? <laughs> he, would, he would go get shopping carts and just like chain smoke cigarettes while getting shopping carts in like 100 degrees. <laughs> I'm like, aren't you hot? He's like, fuck this job, man. Like, I just need to get it out somehow. And he'd get, he'd get yelled at all the time. It's good. He'd be covered in cigarette, like ash and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. So, whatever. <sighs> That's crazy. So uh, speaking of North Korea, 
Oh damn! You see, you see the uh, the <laughs> our boy done upgraded. Yeah, he, <laughs> he done did upgraded. it. He done did it. <laughs> Called AT and T, got his new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every year, it's like an iPhone announcement. Kim Jong Un, new <laughs> rocket, brand new <laughs> missile, yeah. successfully launched. You see the pictures of him? <laughs> oh, he's so geeked. Just fucking <laughs> so geeked geeked out to murder he's people. So pumped. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nick Coletti tweeted. He was like, "I'm actually pretty happy for him." <laughs> <laughs> he Honestly, looks like, he looks like legit excited in these pictures. <laughs> Finally, man, King Jun, he's happy. <laughs> Kim Jong, I mean, Kim, Kim, what did I just Kim, say? Kim, King Jun, King Jun, you just made Kim, Kim Jun, Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Un. There you go. He's happy. Yeah. You know, finally, you gotta like to see this guy happy, <laughs> dude. He should just do a keynote presentation. <laughs> That would be so funny. Yeah, Just this year. Hella polished. <laughs> We've revolutionized <laughs> ballistic missiles. <laughs> Previously, we had shitty Russian technology, but we've made it into 1999 this year. <laughs> we have a warhead. I like how it's always like... Moab X. Moab X, yeah. They always like threaten like, oh, US is now within range. It's like, motherfucker, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit at that point. Just, Just do it. Are you? Yeah. Really? You want to see the whole earth <laughs> destroyed? I don't I don't think he's got it like that. I don't know, man. I feel like mind you, I know absolutely nothing about <laughs> any of this. Same. But I feel like I feel like if they're only now getting like ballistic missiles, the US must have some crazy fucking alien technology from Area 51 that shoots that shit down and Whoa. shoots it into fucking a black hole in space. It's never been tested. No, it's never been tested. I'm talking about like that's that's what we know. You know, right. you, the government's got some crazy shit going on that we don't know I mean, about. Yeah, I think anti-air is hard though. Like once a fucking warhead is like on route, yeah, it's kind of hard to like hit that. It's not like video games where it's like oh, pff, <laughs> yeah, but it might be. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, we I mean, don't even know it. I'm saying they probably have alien technology that we don't even. You know, what I'm saying this is info wars now. By the way. <laughs> Alien technology. The fucking frogs are gay. The water it's filled with. <laughs> Have you uh, you seen that Navy railgun? No. What's that? That shit is fucking insane. What is it? It's like it's like a literal like they load a rail and like they can shoot it fast as fuck. It's just a giant rod traveling at I don't know eight thousand hundred million miles an hour instead of like a missile or something. Okay. Just imagine like a a building column just flying at twenty thousand miles an hour. And what does it do? Dude, it would just eradicate anything in this fucking path. Like, it would just go through a bunch of shit. Oh, my God. That's it's, insane. Yeah. That's a real thing? <laughs> yeah. That the government has? Yeah. And they, like, there's videos on YouTube. Damn. Yeah. When you get hit with a, with a rail gun? You'd be like... You'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> that would, I'm about to hit Bay with a rail gun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that must be so... I mean, we talked about this before, but just imagine that moment. Like, when Japan, when that fucking war, like, when the nuke came down, like, yeah, your total is 1760. Yeah, yeah, it's just. <laughs> but imagine being, like, far away from it. <laughs> you, yeah, you have two minutes to live. Yeah, it's just like, it, it just, you ever hear, like, a giant plane or some shit, and you're yeah. like, oh, fuck, this is, yeah. this is it, this is it, this is it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, it's just a small rumbling, and you're like, oh, god damn it, all right, goodbye. <laughs> You're half expecting to look out the window and just see this like red horizon just <laughs> slowly coming closer to you. I go, oh, my skin is going to go away now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's one of those cartoons where you're just bones yeah. standing there and then you fall down. <laughs> I try to freeze in some like funny ass pose. I just like go on the jerking. I probably just. <laughs> we both had the same shit. Yeah. I, I, just, I go in double dick yeah. jerking pose. Yeah. And confuse them. Like, was he diphallic? <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd Wait. He was real. He was real. Double Dick Dan. It's not a myth. <laughs> Test your DNA and shit. You become That's going to be the goal of this podcast. To find Double Dick Dan in the flesh and prove that he's a <laughs> fucking real person. Or make one. Make a Double Dick Dan? Oh. Oh, you done did it. I done you did done it. Did. What kind of a producer are you? Memory card full. My <sighs> ass. My ass. Sorry, guys. It's going to be a brief pause in the video um, feed here as Noel gets his shit together. Listen. Um, I'm rocking a brand new jacket, though, as you can probably tell. It's hot as fuck in here, and I don't need to be wearing this at all. It's actually... <laughs> I'm actually very uncomfortable. You're, but do, you're doing that shit in high school when the fit depends on the sweater, and you're just sweating your fucking eyes yep, out. exactly. Because without this, it's just I'm wearing a white shirt and black pants. It's nothing. <laughs> but with this... Dude, you know what's you know what's really disappointing? No, I was just wearing this 
uh, at full screen and um, every, I got like two compliments on it. People, hey, nice jacket. I'm like, thank you. I'm feeling good, feeling like pretty self confident and all that stuff. Um, this other guy comes up to me and goes, oh, yo, is that it? like you, you're wearing phase colors? <laughs> and I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. And he picks up these shoes that are phase merch, phase oh, clan, yeah, guys. This is like a gaming know. crew or whatever. Um, he picks up the shoes and it has it's these three exact colors. Gold, blue, and red. Bruh. I'm like, God so damn it. Now it, I gotta now I gotta Is this the official announcement? Like you're in phase Yeah, this is it. I'm actually phase Cody is what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it, dude. This is like my nightmare I right just now. Lo- what? What's trying happening? to find a fucking memory card. Oh my can you just just delete the last two things on this one? <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Um we're in a conundrum here. Or Phil. we'll just do it. Just look for it for the rest of the episode. <laughs> I like how like game like why 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 isn't why aren't gamer tags ever normal like that? Like I get the clan name that Wait. has to be weird as shit. Like capital Z. It's like why does why is it a capital Z? First of all, like Phase Rain was one of the was one of the dudes. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Phase Rain or yeah. Phase Banks or whatever. Why isn't it just like Phase Steve? <laughs> Well, okay. Let me nerd out for a okay. second. Okay. Kind of used to be that way. Yeah. Pro gamers like they used to have like their alias, mm-hmm. but then they would in parentheses put their formal name. Really? To be like cipher, like open carrot a dot Stevenson carrot <laughs> shit <laughs> really? like that. Yeah. How long ago was this? You know, three years ago. I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> Fate. What? My, uh, what was your gamer tag? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you yours if you tell me mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. No, because I don't want to tell mine because it will, um, it'll, then people can find me. And this is like my secret. It's like I, I still have an active addict. Oh, you do? Behavior with this. Oh, this is one you still use? Yeah. And I you still don't use. want anyone yeah, to know no. it because you don't want people no. to add you. Okay. No, no. All right. But I'll tell you a fun little story. Yeah, sure. So when I was love pl- stories. Big yeah. fan. A big fan. Yeah. yeah, go for it. So, I had a buddy who was like, uh, like a semi-pro Counter Strike player, mm-hmm. and he got me into a popular club called Club Five. Like a like a social club. Like uh, this is a like One Oak sort of thing. Yeah, but for like like pro Counter Strike players, extremely fucking nerd shit. I'm talking One Oak. Like you go out to the club, like you get drunk and you go like that no, kind no, of club. No, 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 no. It's oh, like a, we're it's talking like, an like online. A, no, an online. Club. Yeah. Okay, it's a yeah. club penguin sort of thing. Yeah, sort okay. of. Yeah. Gotcha. So if you were in Club Five, you would put uh, the number five in brackets after your name. Oh, it's a clan. No, no, no. Because you you'd be on a team, but like this club was like considered like premier players. Okay. So really, most of them were hackers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, it was dude. It was such a mental thing because. I didn't belong in there. No one knew who the fuck I was. And the end of this story is one day some dude goes, Hey, who the fuck are you? And I'm like, uh, Tom put me in and they banned me. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It just kicked me the fuck out. Jesus. They're like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Never heard of you. Was that just like a huge like hit to your ego? No, I knew it was coming. Really? Yeah. I just milked it while I was in that bitch. Dude, my, my buddies and I used to, uh, cause on, on Xbox, the only way, um, or no, was it, you don't change your game. Oh, oh! On on Call of Duty, you can just add a clan right. tag. Right, right, and you can just make it whatever you want. Yeah. And so my buddy and I would just go into games and make our clan tag the same as like four other people that were in there, <laughs> and they would get so pissed. And they, there's nothing they could do it's except so funny. leave the game. It's so funny. It's so funny, dude. And we were like team kill and shit like yeah. that. Like with yeah. the <laughs> trolling. It's just such like a. It's just such like a. Like there's no reason. It's such an illogical <laughs> thing to get mad about. Like, it's the easiest thing to do. Mm-hmm. And these guys would get so irrationally mad at us. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you can't have the fucking phase thing or like, you know, three whatever <laughs> sniff, snipe shit. I don't even know. Like, what is, what's a good fucking clan tag? Oh. Le- uh, no, not Leet. Not that was this. Um, there was a man. Rise. R-I-Z-E. R-I-Z-E. I'm trying to think of like funny. Um, there was like a popular like team back in the day called Pub Masters. Mm-hmm. They're actually really fucking good at Counter Strike, but they did not take that shit serious. So they, they would play in this league, and they were like top level. 
but like in the match, like they would do shit like like five of them would stack up and like run on each other's heads as like a giant column <laughs> like coming down some way. So like dudes are like hold, like thinking like, all right, this is going to be like a real like strategy or something. And you just see a tower of five players <laughs> with shotguns and flashbangs and like they would just try to die. Or that's, like, that's hilarious. Oh, super funny. That's really funny. That's really funny. Some other shit they would do is like they would pile up in like a one part of the map and they would all hold grenades. And if you unclick the grenade and you died, it would still go off. Yeah. So they would just wait for one person to like push. Yeah. And then just suicide bomb him, <laughs> just trying to get him. Like, but they would always lose. But it was pretty fucking funny. Like, just God in, damn, that's really really funny. Yeah, they would troll super hard. I remember my the, I used to play Gears of War a lot yeah. online for some reason. My friends and I loved playing that game online. Yeah. Um, and I remember the the most absurd gaming gamer tag that I ever saw. Mm-hmm. Was this one? I don't even. I don't even want to say this. It was this guy. His gamer tag was "I hate Asians," <laughs> all caps. Oh my God. Somehow that got through the fucking Xbox <laughs> filters. <laughs> Free speech. Like you couldn't even do ass with two Z's. They would like no. They'd be like no. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it was like wow. super strict. You had to find like really crazy ways of getting around the filters so you could spell <laughs> penis and shit like that. This guy just straight up. I hate Asians. Oh my God. And he was always there. Like, he was always playing. Always. <laughs> like, dude, how are you not, like, getting chewed out for this on the regular? Probably just has shit muted. Yeah, probably. Jesus. So yeah. If that was you, man, that's fucked up, that's dude. Fucked if you're up, watching brother. this, I hate Asians. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucked up. That was really fucked up. Just some Asian guys, like, yeah. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, uh, speaking of Faze Banks, yeah, did you read about his little scandal? Yeah, dude, they got well, that was fucked up, man. What an idiot! That was fucked what up. An asshole. Who? Faze Banks. I mean, his girlfriend got beat up. No, dude. No. Wait, what happened? Okay, so let me. Uh, What's the actual story? So the bar. I didn't like watch. I did all <sighs> I saw because my girlfriend follows Alyssa, <laughs> and so she was on her Snapchat or some shit, and she was like, "Holy fuck!" Like Alyssa got punched in the face or whatever, and so I looked at it and I was like, "Damn, that's crazy." And then she was like, "You know, find this person, find this person." They're like screenshots from a security camera or some shit. So I just assumed she got like assaulted. Yes, she did. But uh, Banks and her went on like this drunk like tirade and shit like on snapchat claiming it was the bar and this and that so the bar responded and they put all the security footage now banks is claiming they're creating a narrative but to me it's it's pretty cut and dry what the fuck happened there like Alyssa. so what it was is Alyssa was using a bathroom okay and she was using it after hours and they usually close that area off because the manager goes down there and counts money <clears throat> so the manager's down there counting money Banks comes down. She hears a male voice. She notifies security. She's like, hey, there's someone down here who shouldn't be here because, you know, why would there be a male at the, the manager? Uh, yeah. Okay. So she notifies security. So the security guard comes down. He goes, hey, like, uh, what's up, man? Like, what are you guys doing? Uh, you know, Alyssa, are they okay? Okay, man, I, I just need you to clear out of here. And Banks, like, gets an ego about it. He's, like, kind of, like, taunting him and, like, dancing around, like, being kind of an asshole. And the dude's just kind of, like, asking him, like, gently, like, hey, could you leave? Could you leave? So then Banks pushes him. It looks like, and then the office manager hears like the commotion. So there's the uh, there's the lady counting cash, and then there's the office manager. He's a male. He sees what's going on. He's handing the girl another drawer to count. He hands it to her, and he runs down the hall. And they're starting to move him out. They're trying to escort him out because he's like being kind of physical. So then they're like towards the bottom of the staircase, and uh, Banks claims like he gets punched or something, but he initiates a headlock, and the dude like like puts the frame like he's he drops them into stills and he tries to outline who's who and it seems pretty accurate so then they're like they there's like five claims that they made like Alyssa claimed that someone or banks is saying that someone grabbed her ass and the, it's just the the fucking proof is in the pudding so what in, what really happened was they escorted them out banks is like just losing his mind he's being a drunk dickhead also he wears a hat because he's super balding. Had no idea about that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> His hairline looks fucked up, oh, fucked okay. up there. So whatever. They're outside. And <clears throat> Alyssa, it's like these two people who are at the bar is like getting into it with Alyssa. And Alyssa's like filming them. And like he just lets the tape run. You can see it. Like she's kind of like agitating this other girl by filming her and like just putting her on camera. So the girl, she's like, man, fuck this. And she just fucking pops Alyssa like just. Boom! Hits her in the fucking face. 
So then there's a there's another dude standing there. He's trying to break them up. That's all he's doing. He's just holding them apart. And Banks comes running up like an idiot, and he punches that fool in the back of the head. He sucker punches him like a few times. So they go to the ground. Oh, my God. I'm cringing. <clears throat> yeah, all this and that. So this is all in the footage? Yeah. And the dude, like, lays it out. <clears throat> so even... But here's my thing. Even if they left out footage, even if Banks was really hit by the security guards, the way they handled him out... They just like they ushered him out. So it doesn't suggest to me that an actual scuffle happened at, or like a strong one. And even if it did, they were like treating him with respect. The VIP bouncer comes up to him and like they carefully usher him out. And she got popped like she was standing out there agitating this chick and she got fucking she got punched up. She's, that's that's what happened. She got fucking socked up and she deserved it a little oh bit. Oh my God, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Now maybe I don't have all the information and I'm speaking too fast, but from the looks of things, it seems like... I mean, it kind of seems like that's all... Like if there's video <clears throat> footage of this shit happening. Mind you, I'm not going to... I can't see... I haven't seen it, so yeah. whatever. But like, this is what I was kind of saying the night after it happened. I was like, all right, immediately, right, I, I'm, I'm only getting their side of the story. And if it's true, then it's fucked up. Yeah. You know? you got punched, you got beat up, that sucks, right? Mm -hmm. It's also like, if there's also a little bit of me that's like, if this drama keeps happening to you, like, didn't you just have, right. like, a few months ago, some shit right. about, like, Jake Paul's girlfriend or something got beat up, yep. something like that, yep. at a club? Yep. Like, why is this following you around? It's yep. not because you're super famous. There's tons of super famous people where this shit just doesn't happen to them constantly. <laughs> maybe you're the cause of the yeah, drama. If this shit, if drama keeps happening to you, you're the fucking cause. Dude, that fool was just drunk and he's just like, he's like on Snapchat just hammered. Like, yo, fuck this place. I'm gonna sue. Oh, they're fucking over. And they're getting like the bar, like patron, like not patron, like employees and shit. They're getting like death threats and like all this and that. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. Yeah. It's, it's fucking dangerous to have like an audience that big and be that stupid. Not even be that stupid, <laughs> no, but just, just like, kidding. but just like, you know, like there, it's such a one-sided thing. You yeah. know what I mean, now everybody just gets yeah. their version of it, and yeah. it's like, it's like, yeah, but yeah, if you're being an idiot in public and you're antagonizing people and whatever, yeah, mind know. you, it wasn't like some fucking Midwest town. So I'm Cleveland. guessing Cleveland was yeah. it? Okay, well, I don't. Know. I guess it's some Midwest town. Yeah, Everyone nice. from Cleveland just got <laughs> so fucking offended. Hey, fuck you, man. And people from Cleveland, like, probably, you know, at a bar, at a club in Cleveland, people are probably looking for a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, no. all you gotta do is pull your camera out and film someone. They're like, yeah, wait for that shit. Well, that's the other thing that I want to point out is like anywhere else, like this ain't L.A., bro. Like L.A. people, I think, are used to having cameras around. Yeah. Like you go to like a, just go to some random like city. Yeah. You don't know if they're like that. Yeah. You pull out a camera might be fucking rude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why the fuck are you filming me, bro? I mean, it's just like, it's just all it is. It's just like recognizing social cues. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that fucking hard to like, just not be a dumbass <laughs> about shit. Like, yep. why you gotta have an ego and... Hey, bro, why are you touching my... It's like, you shouldn't be fucking down here in the first place. Yep. Get out. Just be normal. Yep. Fit in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be yourself. <laughs> Just be something else that's not you, because you sucks. <laughs> Alyssa claimed like she got pushed down the stairs. Okay. Doesn't happen. Just straight up doesn't happen. Just, do <laughs> just doesn't happen. <laughs> Man, that's just dangerous, dude. People are just lying about that, shit. So that was the to point. millions of people. That was the point. And then just believing it, hook, line, and sinker. That the bar brought up, they were like, it's it's crazy that none of these people critically think about the situation. Yeah. They don't ever consider like, all right, this is what they're going to tell me. What's the other half? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and also uh, the snaps before, Alyssa was like, they were both there with Alyssa's parents, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got to not be the best first impression if Banks was... That's the first time dude, Banks has met her parents. The dude highlights Alyssa's mom talking to a bouncer. She's like, I'm so sorry, like, or whatever. It's supposedly her mom, like, telling the bouncer, I'm sorry for, like, what they're doing. Like, oh, god damn. I don't damn. know, man. It and I just saw someone... Just seems like was a lot on of... Twitter or something? Sorry. It, it just seems like a lot of effort on their part yeah. to justify what they did. I know. You're talking a little too much about it. Yeah. So... I mean, it's content, dude. That's that's yeah. how they. I mean, they're that's what they do. It's like they're. I don't know what else do they talk about. It's true. They just stir up drama, and then they're like, "All right, guys, like, you know, here's a 20 minute video of me describing what happened from my perspective." It's like yeah, <laughs> they should talk about should have happened. They should, they should talk about dicks. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they should talk about. You know, there's a guy out there with two, two dicks, dicks that might not even be real. <laughs> Why are we talking more about this? <laughs> Is it's just the new Sasquatch? <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's the millennial Sasquatch. 
<laughs> double you dick just, man. Oh, you just see the shadow in the forest. Two giant dicks. <laughs> Yo, we should start like a fake. Everyone in Tiny Meat Gang should start a fucking like a fake conspiracy site, like some infowar shit for yeah. a double dick man sighting. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> we'll all support it. We'll all do like self taped interviews and shit. That'd be so funny. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen him. I've I saw it. it. I saw it back in 1985. If we can get one of us on like national news television yeah. talking about having seen the double dick man, yeah. that would be fucking money. And just never, never like a sexual run in. No. It's never like I went back for this guy after a night <laughs> out and he had two dicks and, but I went to the bathroom and he was gone by the time I got out. <laughs> yes, I couldn't, didn't have time yeah. to enjoy the two dicks or no. some shit. Never like that. It's Catch just like I pissing. saw, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or I saw him like, you know, I saw the shit, like the shadow. <laughs> You know what I mean? It was a hot summer day. He was wearing white linen pants. And I saw, I was just walking down the street. It just caught a glimpse of both dicks on either side of the seam. I couldn't believe what I saw. And just like that, he was gone. He just turned down an alley and I never saw the guy again. Here's the follow-up. White linen pants. Here's the follow-up. I've seen him as well. Last winter, Mm -hmm. he's peeing in my lawn. Okay. There's two streams going into the snow. No. He leaves two streams in the snow. How can he leave two streams? Get out of town. If he doesn't have two penises. Did he write his name twice? He did. One, one, <laughs> one forward and one backwards. <laughs> Wrote his first and last name simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Double dick damn. <laughs> Holy shit. There's been a lot of penises in the news lately. Just what do you mean? All the sexual harassment. Guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Matt Laurie. You, about this guy? Yep. Whoa. That shit's nuts, dude. He, I was just reading about that at Whole Foods. He yeah. had a fucking lockout button. He had a button on his shit to lock the door, dude. Oh, man, that 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 type of te- why are they endorsing that? I don't know. That's a like a rape weapon. Yeah, bro. I know. You can just lock that shit and be like, suck it off. I didn't know he he made twenty five million dollars a year. He Doing was like their what? He was like their he was like their fucking uh, star child. They had to keep him happy. Because they were the number one rated show, and it was like all because of him, apparently. And I don't know. Oh yeah, that's he, what he was like the Olympics guy, right? That's yeah. what he did. Oh, the Olympics. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, that's what I recognize him from. I don't watch fucking whatever CNBC. <laughs> I don't know. What, um, yeah, that shit's nuts, dude. I screenshotted this fucking um, this like headline about the shit, and this shit had me laughing because I'm like, no, that's actually not the problem. Get, get a fucking get a load of this. <laughs> NBC faces high stakes decision for Matt Lauer's replacement. No. Matt Lauer, by the way. Matt Lauer, Matt whatever. Lauer. Yeah. No, the high stakes decision is how you don't get fucking sued to death and how you're going to remedy the situation. Yeah. All these women he's fucked yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're going to replace the fucking guy who talks about fucking, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, why did you let him have a lock button on his desk? Yeah, all that shit is wild, bro. Well, I mean, like, that's one of those things is like once. Once it's a bad thing, then it the whole time it was like, why? Is, but it, an innocent person with a lock on their right. Mm. I think one of those things is maybe you just didn't want to get up to. No, that's no. kind of fucked up for no. every. Yeah, it's like the lock is it's on. Like the, you're either like watching porn, <laughs> or you're like sexually harassing someone. <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's it. Like you know what I mean? No one wants to like eat their lunch. That's just some like fucking in like, privacy. For fucking no, that's like some fucking like. I'm about to uh, go in on this fucking <laughs> turkey grinder. So just fucking or yep. meatball grinder. Yep. I'm about to go in on this shit. <laughs> fucking bib on, lock the damn door, and then just fucking mouth harass. Pulls out a fucking plate of lobster, takes <laughs> yeah, his yeah. pants off. <laughs> I don't want to get any of this on my goddamn pants. These are from Macy's. <laughs> Dude, that's sh- that's like some like super villain shit. Yeah. A switch under the desk? I know. People only have that in banks. Yeah. <laughs> to like notify like robbers. Yeah. <laughs> that must be the scariest shit. You're just in his office. You're like, hey, Matt. He's like, what's happening? And just you see his like bicep just slightly tilting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Or you just hear that sound. I'm like, all right, great meeting. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I kid, but. Oh. It's fucked up, dude. It's real fucked up. Yeah, let me tell you, he's an animal in there, too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just bring it back to... Something happy? To dicks, real Dick, quick. Yeah. You know what I was saying about, like, the linen pants yeah. and shit like that? That was, based, that was based on a real... When I was in London, 
we were there's a, we were my friend and I were talking. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be uh, this is probably not the greatest time to be a pig right after we yeah. were talking about Matt Lauer, but like you know the free the nipple thing is a big thing in London. Yeah, in the summertime. Yeah, girls walk around and you know what I mean. There's just not a lot of bras you see on the street, which no. it's a good thing generally. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm trying to be careful here. I'm trying yeah. to, like, you yeah. know what I mean? It's a good thing. It's we a good thing. We just talk about sexual assault, and you're like, I like, you know, I mean. Yeah. Uh, women, I like, you know, women's bodies. Great. <laughs> and so the more, you know what I mean? The objectively. More you're, objectively. Yeah, objectively, they're great. But not in, ob- like, you're not objectifying them. No. No, no, no. Just in, <laughs> n- neutrally. Yeah. yeah. Just to everyone. Passive great. appreciation of. Yeah. Nipples. Breasts. Boobs. Breasts. Understood. Titties. These are awesome. I mean, you can just say titties <laughs> yeah, are great. Yeah. Titties are dope. I think that's a safe statement. Titties are dope. Yeah. Let's agree on that. Yeah. Move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Titties yeah. are dope. Titties Good. are dope. <laughs> um, so anyways, apparently this is a thing too. So women are, you know what I mean? They're, they're letting them fly, which is great. Apparently this is a thing for dudes too in, in, in London. And I guess like all over the place. I just like didn't really, girls notice this shit obviously more, but dudes will like purposely wear pants and shit like that, that like show off their package. Oh, what, what kind of pants were those? <laughs> like linen shit you're gonna go out and buy a no do bear. they have like a padded cup or something is there like a shape up is there, is there like yeah, we a, need a tmg version yeah, of that shit padded dick pants <laughs> just stuff a bunch of kleenex in there yeah yeah or just put a big go big old kielbasa <laughs> i'm just gonna put a cucumber in each leg yeah I'm just, I'm just it's just funny that genitals are just flying around <laughs> these days in, in public you yeah. know what i mean not i'm not Again, this is not the greatest time to talk about generals flying around, but I'm just yeah. saying, you know, people walking down the street with fucking sheer, just, they're just wearing saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're about to go Roman with this shit. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. about to be naked again. <laughs> That'll be a terrible time. <laughs> Oof. So, man, I, this is the problem. I just took it too, too far dark. I had a funny uh, little news story we can jump into. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> And this is your TMG <laughs> local news. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to intro the show with that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. 100%. Um, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> this is a fun one. Speaking of dicks and robot dicks and stuff. Uh, robots to take 800 million jobs by 2030. Okay. How many jobs are there? That's that was my first thing. I'm like, that kind of just seems like everyone's job. Are there really hundred million? Like, and such a specific hundred million number. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, there's seven billion people on Earth. There's roughly a job for each seventh person. Are you, Is there? I mean, that's. I mean, I'm just using. Oh, you're saying with this dumb with 800, math, Okay, yeah. with eight hundred people. Yeah. You rule out like kids and shit. So there should be like you know some like one to one ratio or yeah. close to it for jobs. No, less than that. Yeah, probably less yeah. than that. But what do you think the first like five are going to be? When do you think they replace us? Like when do robots? Podcasters? Be- yeah, <laughs> because I think all our opinions could probably be programmed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You just take popular culture, put it into like a yeah, thing. Yeah, just like program. All right, titties, you're dope. The double dick man is real. Yeah. Okay, then, robot, that's all you need to know. Just then, repeat that shit for an hour. And then popular news stories. <laughs> and then, you know, uh think you're white or racially ambiguous go yeah yeah I th- i'm thinking 2019 2019 <laughs> that's when we're that's out when of we're here, out of yeah, here? That's when yeah, all well, podcasters yeah, exactly. are exactly that would be actually the funniest robot to make is a comedian robot it would hate itself uh has no money <laughs> yeah it just does open mics it just uh, does, does open the mics. open mic robot dude if it, it would just it would just be and it'd be funny because it would never back down. It would just yeah. go to every open mic. Yeah. Actually, could be a great premise for a fucking, <laughs> like a comedy movie or some shit. <laughs> First AI and it's a comedian. Yeah. It's like, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> the worst. Because we always think about robots being like super dope. Yeah. Now He's we, just like the lowest. He's yeah, just like just, complaining about being a robot. It's just program a loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see the fucking preview for that movie uh, <laughs> Downsized? Downsizing? No, what the fuck is that? Dude, crazy premise for a movie. I Like, really cool. I don't know. It's got Matt Damon and someone else in it. Uh, oh, uh, fucking Kirsten Wig. Uh-huh. Kirsten Wig? Something like that? Kirsten, Kirsten Wig? Kirsten Wig, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just threw a little Canadian on that. Yeah, Kirsten. Oh, uh, Kirsten Wig. Kirsten Wig. <laughs> That's um, Irish. Yeah, was, uh, they're close. 
Are they? Kirsten Wiggy. Yeah. Kirsten Wiggy. Oh. Oh, Kirsten Wiggy. I know me a hoser, eh? Oh, you fucking duster. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyways, this movie is about basically you can go through this procedure sometime in the future. You can go through this procedure where you, uh, are like this big, like honey, I shrunk the kid's size. Mm -hmm. Right. And then they have their own little communities or whatever. And basically like your, your money, your real life size money is worth way more in these communities. So it's like, it's like very, uh, and it's obviously it's beneficial to the entire world because it solves like population issues mm. but it's also beneficial for you because then you get you, you get to live this like lavish lifestyle but oh, like the interesting huge, the huge obviously drawback is that you're tiny and so right. you can't really interact with like real size humans got it and so people have to like make this decision if you're not like, not doing as well oh in your that's real life. fucking nuts yeah it's pretty cool that's so super like smart. it's so like matt damon does it and his wife chickens out last minute like as they both go into the room so then he basically lives this life in this small world and realizes it and it comes to like some, has some yeah, sort of whatever. epiphanies and blah, yeah. blah, blah. But like, I just was like, damn, this is fucking cool as hell. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. Isn't it? It's like one of those concepts you tell someone and they're like, wow, that was cool. Like it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Someone should make a movie about that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I got fucking drunk this weekend. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you? No. Oh my God. Get damn it. I was, I did nothing. I was just thinking on the way over here. I was like, I was like, usually I have some shit that I want to bring up that happened to me during the weekend. Right. I put the weekend. It was pretty fucking chill. I didn't. Re <laughs> oh, you know what I did? Actually, we. Okay, here's what I did. I on Saturday, mm -hmm. um, I went. Kelsey and I went to Whole Foods and we picked up these for lunch. Saturday, we were surfing or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> went to Whole Foods for lunch. They have this alcoholic kombucha there, eight percent or something. I think I've talked about this on the fucking podcast before. Of I'm sure. It's like my favorite shit in the entire world. Yeah. So I bought a couple bottles of this stuff, a few bottles, and brought it over to Colby's place, and um, we were drinking it, and he's been talking to this chick, and she's like a WWE like wrestler, or she's about who, to be. Who is Colby and in these insane interactions he has? I don't know. I feel like I'm, I don't want to reveal too much about the, this, let's, yeah, this let's, public. Okay. Yeah. So he's... Let's say... Okay. Well, I already said his fucking name, so it's too late. But anyways... Uh, <laughs> just like he knows this girl, she's a WWE wrestler, she's gonna be or some shit. Whatever. And so she came over and Whoa. like with one of her friends or something. We were just like drinking with them for a while. And they had these gigantic vaporizers, like the old kind, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, not the jewel, like okay. the old kind. Yeah. And they were old. just blowing clouds and it was just like Tobacco I don't know. The old. whole thing was a little bit surreal. Like it was just like, you know, I don't know, we're drinking like a WWE person wrestler. Not to say she was very nice yeah, and cool, I would say, but it's just like, I don't know, kind of weird situation to be in. Sure. I'm not friends with wrestlers, so yeah. you know what I mean? I don't know. We need to get into that world, yeah. I, I think is what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. hundred percent. I mean, it would be, I mean, attitude era is over. I'm not even really big on wrestling, but how dope would it have been like, I don't know, 10 years ago to be like, yeah, I'm with fucking Steven Seagal and Scotty Too Hottie. Yeah. It's a weird ass group to be yeah. with. Yeah. Now it's just like, I'm with FaZe Banks. and Yeah. Mm, yeah. whatever clout gang clout gang mm. <laughs> I was watching I was I was <laughs> don't even say it I was watching one of FaZe Banks vlogs <laughs> here we go cause it, <laughs> uh, don't, don't even don't there even. was a big ass house in the thumbnail that always gets me you know what I mean <laughs> it's not tits it's a big it's house it's a house dude I wanna see the fucking big ass houses that I don't have the money to buy you want to fuck a house, dude? Just just come clean yeah, with I'm it. Yeah, I'm sexually attracted <laughs> to houses. And so it was a big-ass house. It was like, we bought another house, 15, you know, in the thumbnail. It's like the price of the house. Of course. 15 million, you know, pesos or whatever the fuck. If we were going to buy it, but they rent. Yeah, they are. I don't know. That's what I was wondering. So, like, they, they, basically what it was, I, I just fast-forwarded through. I didn't watch, but... Uh, Basically, what it was is that he they're getting another house as a, a clan or whatever, so they can have like house people that they're they're gonna be in, a, in their group. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how much money do you fucking make guys make? Yeah. How much money does the Phase Clan make? A shitload. Off what? Um, gaming well, shit. Yeah, merch, everything. It's crazy. I think merch is like probably a big driver. So how does it work? It all goes to the company, and they each person gets paid out as an employee. Probably. Yeah, and then f and then they each have their like own individual YouTube channels where yep. they make a whole bunch of money. Yep. Like it's like the it's like just the old gaming syndicate model on steroids. Mm -hmm. The first guy to do it was uh, or one of the first guys to do it, was a guy named Jason Lake started a team called Complexity. 
That was like big shit when I was playing Counter Strike. Okay, they're sponsored by like AMD and shit. They okay. like show up to tournaments with like jerseys and all that. Damn, that wasn't really a thing in America. So you're like, holy fuck, they're making like forty thousand dollars a year to some <laughs> shitty like salary. <laughs> Complexity. Yeah, such a Sick fucking gamer name, name. dude. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, there was a fat ass dude on that team named Warden. Mm-hmm. And That's kind of uh, tight. Yeah. That's a tight name. Yeah. Warden. Well, so I, me and my buddies, we played against him and he was doing a pickup game and uh, you could always run someone's uh, steam ID and see if they were actually who they were. Okay. So we ran it and it was him. And it, so he was playing as warden and then the remaining four players were like shitty players. Yeah. Um, and they, they tagged up as complexity, but they just weren't. Okay. <laughs> and that fool decimated us really like you would play to round you'd play a total of 30 rounds and it was like best out of 30 they 16 owed us we didn't get a single round and it was just him carrying the entire team jesus christ it was fucking wild yeah i always think about like something i think about a lot is like the creators of video games like if you're a game designer yeah and you're like actually designing the mechanics of this game Mm -hmm. like someone sat down and was responsible for this entire industry yep of people and money being paid out, mm-hmm. hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars in people's careers yep. are based around playing your game, your yeah. mechanics. Yep. And what's to say you, what's to say, you know, the way you crouch or whatever, that could spawn off an entire separate, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? The way the character crouches or the yep. way it moves around or whatever. Yep. There's this like, this entire like lineage of rules that are just based on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a, a bizarre concept. You super. create a game, and then what people do with the game is the entire separate thing yeah, after that. Yeah, but that's the point of creating a game is that it has has a mind of its own, sort yeah. of. It's it's pretty fucking insane. It's fucking nuts, man. Yeah. Um, well, uh, speaking of games, Overwatch. Let's do it. You grab five tiny riblets. I grab five. I'm not playing Overwatch. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I don't even know how to fucking play. I'm not learning a new video game. I'm 27. I'm not learning a game right now. Kelsey got me NBA 2K 2018. And you got blasted, didn't you? I, I haven't played yet. I got. Oh, yeah. I got. That's one game I'm. I'm actually willing to put in the time to learn because um, I think it'll be fun. It'll be good skill going you're not forward. Have Overwatch. Fun. What am I, I going to do with the Overwatch? You know. I'm not going to learn a new game. Just I'll play the, Call the, of Duty with the, them. Oh Come shit! On. There it goes. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> not learning a new game at 27. This is why we need a fucking studio, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, what the fuck? Get it right. Yeah, just once. Just for once. Please, God. Sorry. I keep, can hear in one ear. It's pretty good. It. <laughs> Guys, speaking of freeing nipples, check out this story. Man who cut off ex-girlfriend's nipple sentenced to 45 years in prison. 45 doesn't seem enough to me. I think a single nipple should warrant three life sentences. <laughs> Why would you ever hack a nipple? It's just so barbaric. Why did he cut him off? I didn't read that far because I was so disgusted that he would even cut one off. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Leave the nipples alone. We're trying to free them. That's, and this that's guy, literally free the nipple. Yeah. No, no, no. We're trying to free him and this dude's like annexing them. Yeah. He's like cutting it and throwing it. Like Not, not like that. It's weird, dude. You don't enslave it. You don't make it your thing. Oh, come on with this fucking <laughs> shitty tech. And now I got to... Who's calling me? Should we pick it up on the podcast? No. Yeah, we should. Live call. Hello? Hi, is this Cody? Yeah, this is Cody. Hi, it's Tracy at Buck Mason. I'm just calling to let you know I have your tea. Oh, great. Thank you. Sure. I'll come pick him up. Yeah. Thanks. Sounds good. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hell yeah, bitch. What, what was that? It was Tracy at Buck Mason. She was calling to tell me she has my jeans. What is Buck Mason? It's a store, and I bought some jeans there on Saturday or Sunday. So that's another thing I did this weekend. I bought jeans, and uh, they hemmed them for me. So now they're all prepped and ready to wear. Got so, it. So yeah, it's one of those things where I'm not very good at um, wearing different pants. Sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. So like when I'm when I'm digging one pair of pants. I wear them every single day. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's like kind of the cornerstone of like the outfit is the pants a little bit. I think that's dudes though. The pants is like the foundation. Whatever you work around the pants. Yeah. You yeah. don't go like, oh, I really want to wear this shirt. What pants look, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. all right, I'm going to wear these today. And build the outfit around the pants. At least yeah. that's kind of the way it works for me, sort of. Yeah. So I, you know, I really like these black jeans, so I just wear them every single day. Yeah. And so everything is based around that shit. And then I yeah. never wear my, so now I pre, pretty much now, now that I got these new ones. Yeah. 
I'll be ditching these and I'm just wearing you these know new pants you, for you know it's funny to me so months, <laughs> maybe even years, <laughs> maybe even decades. Yeah. So women and men, like when it comes to dress, like men are very pragmatic, right? Like they start with the pants. Yeah. Women, I used to criticize Alina because I'm like, why does it take you so long? But then I realized most women have an entire retail store in their closet. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like every morning you get up, you're like, okay, I'm going to go to class. I just have to check out of H and M and I'm naked in here. That is so (laughs) like, fuck. (laughs) I couldn't do it. Just too many options. Yeah, it's true. Things are just like half the clothes still have the tags on them. Yeah. Yeah. When I get something, I wear it that day. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I bought this right before I came over. Yeah, I'm sure. (laughs) Okay. I mean, I I do shit like that. Actually, no, you know when I bought this? I went to the Adidas store drunk on Saturday. Excellent. With, uh, with, with, I went with Colby and Kelsey and we just splurged. You ever shop drunk? No. It's crazy. We were just like, I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm popping tags today. <laughs> you woke up the I next don't morning. I give like, a fuck. I was like, yeah. Well, well <laughs> maybe, maybe we're unpopping a few tags here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the store the next day. Hi, I um, I popped too many tags. I popped too many night. tags last night. I got a. <laughs> they're like, well, we know. Yeah, yeah, we know. No, yeah, you were throwing up all over yeah, the store. Yeah. <laughs> we're on the phone with your bank right now, <laughs> dude. We're, somebody, speaking of that, somebody stole my fucking credit card. Oh yeah, yeah, you got yoinked. Yeah, I kind of want to actually. I think it'd be funny to go over this at the show on Saturday. Just like go over like yeah. the amount of shit that they bought and like where they purchased things. Yeah. I like it's that. It's so funny. I like that. It's like Best Buy four times in a row, <laughs> separate times, not the online store, the real store, like in two days. <laughs> it's like, what are you, are you hitting different Best Buys because you, Probably. they're like, get suspicious that you're spending 10 grand or some shit, bro. Dude. Oh my God. When I worked at Best Buy, we had some, the way, the way people interact with electronics is so insane to me. Like they love that shit. We had some people at our store steal shit and it was like such an operation. Like they filled up a cart. Like, you know, when you win a contest and you can like go through a store and grab as much shit as you want. Yeah. That's basically what they did. Threw a bunch of shit in a cart and their homie pulled up like in a car outside and they like the dude and some other homie just like ran full speed to the doors, like with all this momentum, with all this shit in the cart. So if anyone got in the way, they would just like would have got fucking bulldozed over. So my homie, like, he tries to grab the cart and, like, he, like, tips it or something. So they get some shit. They get, like, a few Xboxes and, like, they get away. They ended up getting caught. But it was just, like, the the amount of shit they would get away with. I'm like, man, that was, like, 500 bucks. Like, you couldn't just wait two weeks? Yeah, yeah. You can just figure it out? Yeah. I just, it just blows my mind. Similarly, the dudes who come in and they're like, yeah, I just want to I want to spend 20K in home theater. Like, that's a fucking car. Yeah. What are that's you insane. doing? insane what are you doing? Yeah. I feel like when you have money to blow like that, you don't go to Best Buy. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> Never. You pay someone to do it for you. you. Just have someone figure it out. Yeah. Not fucking. This is such a weird flex. It's a it's a weird thing to like go to a store and buy twenty k in theater, <laughs> in home, home theater, theater equipment. Shit. It's like don't don't you should be paying an expert to do it at this yeah. point. If you're dropping twenty k <laughs> on a yourself. system. You should not be doing this yourself at all. <laughs> That's such a great yeah. What what is the guy? Oh, I got the wrong wires. So it's like yeah, no it's like, shit. I gotta now. I gotta fucking can't hook this up. Twenty thousand dollars. It's like a college tuition <laughs> in in theater equipment. I can't. I got the wrong wires because I don't know what I'm doing, so I can't hook it up. What is the dollar threshold when you should just consult someone else to do that shit for you? I think the five figures. I think once you get to ten, it's like all right, if you're dropping ten. <laughs> ten I'm not. It's Besides like a car, like basic no, shit. I'm tempted to say five. <laughs> five grand. I think five grand is when you're like, maybe, maybe I don't do this alone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just let someone else do this shit. Do like 5K of like home decorating. Yeah. House is going to look like a fucking, I don't even know, Picasso painting <laughs> with jizz. <laughs> uh, it comes back to chicks again. Oh, God damn it. Uh, we should do a fucking update on the gay for me challenge. Now, um, let me just, uh, let me just tell you what I ate. In yeah. the last two days. Sure. Okay. Start off uh, by saying it's not going very well, very well for me. <laughs> okay. Very well. Very, very well for me at all. Um, this is what I've eaten today. I, I, don't, I had a whole, I can't even speak. This is the tryptophan is hitting this me. tryptophan is hitting yeah, me. Yeah, I'm tripping yeah, on tryptophan. That, yeah, like I'm, I'm like trying to figure this out. I'm like watching you die a little bit and I'm trying to figure this out, but it is the fucking turkey. Why would you eat that? But it's also like at the end of the hour, 
This is how I think this is how I was thinking about this earlier. This is how it works with this podcast. You start out low energy. Yeah. I start out high energy. True, and then it reverses. And then it reverses by yeah. the end because by the end I'm fucking tired. I can't do anything. And you're like, all right, I'm just getting into it. <laughs> by the end of the hour, you're like, let's keep it going. I'm like, yeah. I want to go eat more <laughs> trips of fan, dude. <laughs> I'm like, who the tryptophan's hitting? Uh, oh God, I'm when sweating. The, that's Palms are sweaty. When the tryptophan hits, yeah, you just the, be like, you just be like, <laughs> fam. When that tryptophan hits, <laughs> yo, yo man, are you good? <laughs> How much turkey did you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, don't, don't, don't overboard it. Over again. Yeah, you're right. It does take. What me was like, I? What was I even just saying? Um, five k. Something about an expert. Uh, oh, gay for me challenge. So, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ate a whole Thanksgiving meal. This morning for breakfast, I had bread pudding, which was about <laughs> six pounds. This little thing of bread pudding. Kelsey got me for my birthday because she knows I love bread pudding. And this, uh, this, this was like nine loaves of bread condensed into just a cupcake, cupcake size thing. I want to like. I feel like I got diabetes. I need to cut off my foot just thinking about eating that. I had a corner like this big, and I was full. <laughs> It was insane. So that's what I had last night. I had bread pudding. Yep. I had Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I had Chick Fil A. And what did I have earlier? Probably more bread pudding. Oh, a Thanksgiving meal. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I'm kidding. It was something, but it was something probably equally as bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just not. A, oh, I had fucking Huckleberry. It's a brunch place in Santa Monica. Yeah. Right. Right. Biscuit turned up. So it's not really going well for me, guys. But I think I'm gonna get back into it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to... Because I went to the gym yesterday, so I'm still like not totally off the wagon. Right, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, I've been... uh, How's it it going for you? I've been steady. Yeah? Yeah, I'm building strength. Yeah? Getting in it. Nice. Feeling good. Nice. Um, Yeah, and slowly but surely. How many weeks has it been now? Four? Uh, A whole month? uh, Four or five, maybe. Four or five? Well, I mean, since I started, but since we talked about it, maybe like two, three weeks. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely not... Progress picks... Uh, probably not. No, eh, probably not. Probably not. Because eh. we're gonna hype it up and then we're gonna show what we look like and everyone's gonna be like, mm. "Did you guys do anything?" Yeah, what, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where the which where one's the, the before picture. Yeah, this is this is weird. Are, is Noel the before? You're the after. <laughs> is it the other way around? I just don't. I don't get it. Um. Oh, we have cracked an hour. We have, but we owe, we owe the fans. <laughs> <laughs> you see this, guys? I always am here to give you more. At the end. Hey, I hopped in the Discord for a few minutes. Yeah. That was fun. Shout out to Dude, 10 folks I, I touched up with. I went in the voice channel on that shit. Yeah. So the Discord is like, it's it's made for gaming. So there's like, once you enter a voice channel, it's basically you can just like talk to people that yeah. are also in the voice channel. So it's like. You know, it's like a big group Skype call or whatever the fuck, yeah, however you want it's to awesome. relate. Yeah, it, yeah, it's awesome, but it's also really just scary. I jumped in there and was like, hey, Cody, what's good? Listen to me rapping. I'm deep. There were like some one person was freestyling. I was like, yo, this is, I'm, I'm out. I can't, I don't know. Why? It's just overwhelming. It's, it's like, I don't Too much I don't stimulus? Because I went in at a, at a moment where like we were right about to start a movie and I was like, what's this? And I just clicked on it and uh, all of a sudden yeah. it's like got, you know, bombarded yeah. by voices. Yeah. People would be like, what's up? What's up? What's up? And I'm like, good. Uh, and then I didn't want to be rude and be like, all right, I'm leaving. Sure. So I was kind of like, what's up with you guys? And they're like, oh, we're good. And I was like, ah, fuck. Okay, I'm going to go watch a movie. Got it. Silence. So Damn. you came in all tripped and fanned out. And you just got fucking wrecked. Yeah. You got too high. I came to the party. Yeah. This pretty much. A party. Yeah. I came much. in. I hung out. We was chilling. I was roasting. Yeah. I was cooking. It's cooking the boy. Damn, for free? A little bit, You're roasting yeah. for free? Yeah, a little bit. But, How many, oh, dude, I have 50 cameos to do. I got 10. Damn. Yeah. It's a... Uh, cameos, I just feel like I want to... What the goddamn... Answer it on the answer on the thing. It's Spock. Oh, Spock's coming over? Yeah, he's going to hang out for a second. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Um, he's just, you guys going to shoot? Yeah, probably. Some we'll stuff. Probably vlog it up. Vlog it up. Ooh, Yo, let's, let's get him on the pod for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a mic. Oh, yeah, I do have. have oh, we don't no, have a channel. <laughs> oh, we don't. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> so I think I think what I do want to talk about for a second okay. is a mixtape. Mixtape. Yeah, we finished it last night. We finished. Finished. Well, maybe. Yeah, it's in a it's in a state ready to be released. Well, we can release it right now and be great. But yeah. we have to polish it up. We still might even do one more song, but probably not. Probably not. Um. And the but song look, we did last night is a 
slap happy banger, dude. No, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm just. I would want to say I'm very excited to put this out. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's. I think. I think you guys are gonna like it. Yep. I'm very pleased with it. Um, um. I'm just gonna keep saying um, um, <laughs> um. I mean, the song last night is a dinger. Yeah, it's a ding a linger. <laughs> it tickles. I'm forcing w- that one. Yeah, I was at the at the meeting at full screen today. There was like nine people in this meeting for some reason, and they were like, "What have you been working on?" And I was like, "Oh, we're doing an EP." And they were like, "All like what the oh, fuck? Rap music? You're a uh, musician?" I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." Let's get this. Let's get this. My producer is a musician. A musician. A musician. I can't speak, dude. Yeah, the trip to fans really hit you. I know. I'm feeling well. Musician. I'm searching the depths of my brain for an insanely dark thing. Why? I don't know. That you just, don't have to make it dark. Uh. Oh what, fuck. What? Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> have you guys been playing fucking HQ? Have you been playing? No. Oh, it's so dope, man. Uh, I have not been playing HQ. It's so dope. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, the show this Saturday. Should we do stand up? No, no, I don't want to. I, I mean, it's gonna be weird if we like if just do st- <laughs> for standing up, yeah. and then at the end of our sets we just sit down okay. and start having a conversation. Thank you for so, watching our sets. What you guys think? What you guys think about that? Yeah. yeah. No, think about it. the live show is just gonna be this, but with a hundred people right yeah, here, not laughing, just like right now. <laughs> so we're sitting there like, yeah, this is just as disappointing. Right. Well, yeah. Well, I'm thinking like we just make it about ourselves, like tell stories and stuff like the one. Yeah. Like that Bed Bath and Beyond story is great. Actually, we probably should have saved that. No. Well, no, it's actually a little bit dark, but it's more funny depressing. stories. Yeah. I got, um, some, I got some funny ones. Yeah. Got me some too. Funny ones in the can. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll be excited for be. the live show. I think. Hey, uh, also, think, let's queue. We should queue up a name that time you for the next episode. Yeah. Okay. Every, everybody. Everybody go hit Cody. No, no, no. no. You know what you got to do? Let's post in the Patreon community section. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah let's because do that. we have, there's actually been some funny shit in there and we haven't really talked about it. Yeah, was, let's talk about it now. Let's talk about it. Sure. Let's, here. let's talk about you. I already have it. I already have it fucking loaded up. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> the Discord memes have been 10 out of 10. We've been la- laughing a good number at those. Got some good chucks out yeah. of those. Cody, why don't you squeak at Noel like you squeak at Kelsey when she makes a joke? What? The, squeak? Like that? I don't think I do that, do I? If whatever he does for Kelsey, I don't want him to do yeah, it for me. Yeah. Let's just draw that line right there. <laughs> Drew Ediger. So I'm listening to the latest episode of the TMG podcast and I hear them talking about Russ. And I really wonder if they know that he literally has a song about cheating on his girl where he doesn't even feel remorse for it. Oh. Exactly. I don't know how that's supposed to elevate a female's mind, but all right, Russ. Wait, let's talk about this. Because yeah. after we posted that video. Yeah. A bunch of people would first of all like no jumper retweeted it like yeah people in hip-hop like uh um what's the guy's name oh fuck ray volpe i think like yeah, retweeted it yeah like, people in music were like ah this is really funny yeah like giving it recognition yeah and people were tagging him in it yeah and then the oh, next yeah. morning oh, yeah remember? oh yeah that's a little bit of fun fact here wait so the next morning he tweets i have a picture of it <laughs> he, like now i don't know if this was directed at me or not but people were tagging me he goes, remember, things could always be worse. You could be living in North Hollywood making IG skits trying to get clout tokens as a grown-ass man. Wow. Now, I don't know if that was about me or not, but um, and I'm not saying it might have been. All I'm saying is that like when people started tagging me, he deleted it immediately. Which is hilarious because uh, I think we hurt his feelings a little bit. Yeah. I think we got him. Yep. I think we, t- I think we touched him up. Yep. Gave yep. him Floyd Mayweather. So funny, dude. I was like, I one of the guys in the meeting today was like, dude, your rest video, hilarious. He's like, that guy's a fucking clown. <laughs> what I love is that uh, all his fans keep coming at us like, dude, he just spoke out against drugs. And it's like, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, Spock's here. Keep it going. Well, that's really weird. Some girl just says, bring back that scrub. Oh, no. Some girl says, for the three hour episode, can you guys bring Spock on for a little bit? Thank you. What's good? What's Gucci? What's Gucci? Just, just sit in, just sit in for a second, and then just like. Oh shit! Just say hello, dog. This is the setup right here. Actually, here I want to ask you about this because, on my so on my podcast, 
that I recorded Jesus. on Tuesday. I yeah. was um, I was talking about my with my girlfriend about vegan stuff. Were we talking about this yesterday? No. Okay. So like, basically, I was like, I I tried to basically just like do. I have this weird. Basically, I'm like, you shouldn't eat f- chicken flavored things if you're a vegan. That was my thing. And I was like, mm. I don't actually believe that. I was just yeah, like, it's, it's funny. a funny thing. It's, it's funny that people funny. eat animal yeah. flavored shit when they don't believe in eating animals. Like, I don't eat yeah. human flavored things because I don't believe in eating people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Do you is agree true. Or disagree? Uh, I, can't, uh, I think I kind of agree, actually. Oh, I got so much I hate mean, in the comments not, for and I don't even. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, if you I think it maybe depends on the reason why you're vegan. Mm hmm. Like yeah, if, you're, does, yeah. if you're vegan just because it like the health benefits or whatever, then yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But if you're vegan for like, or environmental reasons, I guess it wouldn't matter either. But if you're vegan, cause like you don't like eating animals, mm-hmm. then that's probably kind of fucked. Yeah. Maybe. I mean like even, even if it's for environmental things, yeah. don't you think like having even just like, I guess like the socioeconomic effects of having the word chicken listed at a yeah. grocery store. Yeah, like, raise, like keeps the awareness of chicken being a thing that's edible that other people should be eating even if you don't believe in eating our chicken it. but our chicken flavored shit is that like i don't know you know what i'm saying i never even thought about that again i don't actually I, believe well, this so if you're vegan and you're about to hate on me right now i got enough hate on my podcast okay i don't actually believe it i'm just kind of being devil's advocate and just like saying this and i know i'm not informed okay I know that a bunch of people were like, Cody, I love you, but you don't know what, you, what the fuck you're talking about. I'm like, okay, I know that that's most things, honestly. Yeah, I, that's, I never even thought about that. Well, because like I eat fucking like fake chicken shit, but it's, it's like you eat you eat fake chicken shit. Chi- yeah, fake chicken shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, never sorry, thought about sorry that. To, <laughs> well, fuck, dog. Now you're like, you're like you pull the Russ, dude. Pull the Russ on me right here. Walk in, instantly get <laughs> mentally <laughs> fucked the shit out of, dog. <laughs> did what you talk you, about the tweet? <clears throat> we did. Yeah, yeah? we talked okay, about it. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was about us. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? Here's hot seat. Back at you. Wait, what did you think of the song we made last night? Was it a was it a dude, was it a hype? Dude, I gotta say that shit certified fucking bangers you are, <laughs> you guys are not ready for the tmg mixtape yep dingers cosine from spock um all right guys no you you owe them five what you you owe them five you owe the people <laughs> five minutes. yeah we owe the people we we owe it to them okay at least five gotcha all right well no uh, the the rust thing i would just want to finish this point uh i think it's funny so all of Russ's fans that defend him yeah. are are like just they have his personality. Yeah. <laughs> like they yep. they can't see that being good at your craft and being an asshole are not mutually exclusive. Yep. I just have to say, okay? Russ good at his craft. Kind of a dingus in real life. Yeah. Kevin Spacey, amazing at his craft. Fucked kids, yep. right? asshole yeah yeah this is you realize this is the same not really the same thing obviously because russ hasn't sexually no, harassed anyone no, but it's that, also like you know what i mean like yeah did you hear what about kevin spacey you know what i mean he's yeah. like he's like touch kids and stuff like that it's like yeah but dude yeah but come on dude house of cards fucking rules <laughs> <laughs> like people so you got so many comments of people being like yo i i think russ makes fucking bangers but this is funny yeah yeah like the dude just has to it would be awesome if Russ was just like one day realized like oh, I'm a bit of a dingus <laughs> and just admitted it. Then he'd be cool as fuck. He'd be very cool if he was like, I want to hear the song he's got about him cheating on his girl. Have you heard yeah, it? No, no, we should listen to that. And I, people are like, Oh, Russ's music is amazing. I don't know, dog. I, the few songs I've heard from him, I'm a little bit like, wah, wah. really? Yeah. I don't, I don't fuck with him. And they're like, oh, he mixed and mastered and produced himself. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't, it it sounds like it doesn't have a lot of input. You can tell when like a group of people work on something, it turns out a little bit better. You know, like when you hear Southside and Metro touch a beat, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. This is going to be a yep. fucking dinger. Yeah. A no. certified slap happy danger. Yeah, but if you hear fucking Noel Miller on the beat, you're like, mm, mm, all right, mm, maybe you stick to podcasting. Yeah, right. <laughs> Noel Miller on the beat. <laughs> hey, Noel, you want to come outside? <laughs> I love that watermark. Yeah. Hey, Pierre, you want to come outside? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I imagine he like mic'd that. Like someone was actually asking him to come outside. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm making it. And just went back to making beats. Yeah. And he's like, wait, that's it? <laughs> that's the tag. We should just steal it. His? Yeah. The exact one. Hey, yeah. Pierre, you want to yeah. come outside? Yeah. No, we'll replace it with our names abruptly. Put that all over the mixtape. Uh, what funny, no, what other funny comments we got? I think Russ just makes all these music about women because he truthfully doesn't give a shit about them. About women? Yeah, I think yeah. he just actually doesn't respect women at all. <laughs> it's the complete. <laughs> yeah, it's like just the complete it's opposite. Just overcompensating, like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna raise my states and this and that, because fuck them, they're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> women need their mindset elevated because they're dumb. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Take you from dumb to normal. He's like Taylor Swift. He just dates women so that he can use that as fodder as for material. like lyrics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, 2018 predictions. Who do you think Taylor Swift is going to fucking poison? Who, who, who do you think she's going to poison? Yeah, just who are her next <laughs> yeah. targets? She's like, uh, she's like the scorpion king. She's like the scorpion queen. I think it's... I think- I think Russ is at home praying he gets cheated on. <laughs> so yeah. He can write a yeah, shitty so can write song, a song about, about him. Yeah. I think Taylor Swift's going to get Charlie Puth next year. <laughs> you think so? I think he's on the fucking list. She's going <laughs> to nail him. Yep. And uh, Charlie Puth, and then I think she's going to hit Ed Sheeran. Was Charlie Puth one of the, You know, Ed Sheeran's the top most listened to person on Spotify. Yeah. He's got like 400 billion plays or some he's shit. He's extremely family friendly. It's 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 also just great. It, that's a whole another level of famous right there. It is, yeah. But you can he's only the be, most famous person in the world probably. Yeah. You can only be that famous with kind of, you know, non-opinions. Like all his music He's got some opinions in there. English <laughs> man. You know what I'm talking about? It's a good tune. Yeah. You know what song I love? No. Can't, 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 can't just stop the beat. Control your feet. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, bro. Rest in peace, dog. Well. Uh, all right. Did we, did I'm the, wrapping this up, dude. Yeah, no, I know. Um, Stop l- trying to keep, let keep us, it going when I wrap, us, when I, when let I wrap it up. Let us know in the comments if you think the tryptophan hit him too hard. <laughs> I just I'm not, oh oh here wait. you I'll no, take fine. a rest here how about this yeah. you keep going I'll take a nap I'll take a nap <laughs> yeah so what's up everybody um, I'm here to complain about God knows what oh here's something carrots they're good wait I got a story Uh-oh. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> it's box by the oh, shit. Yeah. yeah what I I told Noel already but here I'll tell. all right you can have my seat all right. Oh, he's going to it's, sleep. It's, he's really uh, tagging yeah, out. All this right. has just turned into a WWF so, podcast. <laughs> Cody, hold on. Cody's really going to take a nap right now. All right. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Now, guys, so, oh, see <laughs> man. Yeah. Um, Spock is right. back on. Dude, I like the, yeah. the mobile setup here. Yeah, this is, it's, it's dope. It's dope, right? it's super yeah. dope. I feel like a DJ. Dude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, I don't know which podcast it was, but you were talking about how Cody's... Cody used to leave out fucking carrots and oh yeah uh, oh yeah this for is the a, reindeer yeah no this is a follow up yeah. to the um oats story yeah so um <laughs> whitest thing ever it, alert right right now all right as a kid I was probably six or seven years old my sister was probably four or five and we were in the back seat of the car <laughs> and we were like arguing with each other <laughs> and my mom's in the my like stepdad was driving probably and my mom's in the passenger seat she turns around and me and my sister are like fighting she's like no you guys better stop and it was it was around it was like december i was like you guys better stop fighting or i'm gonna call santa <laughs> and i was like oh me and my sister just looked at each other and we're like fuck, fuck. But i think we still we kept going because she called santa <laughs> <laughs> so me and my sister are sitting back there like oh fuck we're like fucked. this is real and she's she's on the phone like yeah hey uh i don't know what she said dude but it's like hey Santa, yeah, don't don't bring them any presents this year or whatever the fuck it was, dude. And I remember like talking to my sister later and just like, how did mom get Santa's number? (laughs) (laughs) On top of that, kind of a funny story. I was probably in third grade and my dad, uh, it was it was when I found out Santa wasn't real. Oh, shit. And my dad goes, I, I came home from school one day 
I don't know what it was. I don't even think it was around Christmas time. And my dad, <laughs> just in July. I think I was just sitting there and my dad just turns around and goes, hey, you know, Santa's not real, right? No way. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. And I was like, really? And I was like, fuck. Like, I, was like, I was so confused. I was like, dude. What the that fuck? Is like, so good. It was like, just like a bomb got dropped. This is you're so like, good. You're like, wait, what? First of all, what? Second of all, why are you telling yeah. me right now? <laughs> and I think it's July. And I talked, and it was like my bike. Yeah, <laughs> Santa got me. It was so weird because how I remember it, it was in my head. It was like August or some shit. Because I remember I came home from school and he just dropped it on me, and I was like, what the fuck? And I talked him. I talked to him about it like probably last year, and he was like, no, no, it was because. Uh, like kids at school kept you kept getting like bullied or something and oh. i was like dude there's no way i was in like third grade now nah, he made there's, that up there's no he way he definitely made that yeah. up i don't even because i don't know <laughs> i think your dad I, was like stoned or something yeah yeah he turned out <laughs> yo you know <laughs> santa's like, not real not right fucking real right <laughs> oh fuck. dude i have some yeah yeah, yeah. Gotta be hilarious. <laughs> wait wait it's box on box yeah. <laughs> yo yo your boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I, dude i have some white christmas stories that's hilarious and because there's one more with my dad i remember uh like waking up in the middle of the night yeah and hearing santa laugh no nah, and i was nah. like and i remember because me and my sister had a like shared a bedroom when we were little and i we both looked looked at each other and we we're like Oh fuck, Santa's out there. We went to sleep. Stop it. No, dude, I'm serious. No, no, I think my dad <laughs> went downstairs. I think it was one. It, there was no downstairs, so oh, it was just oh, one. Oh, he, he went was, to the living yeah, room. Yeah, dude. And he and went he ho went, ho yeah. hoed. And he ho ho. He like <laughs> laughed and ho ho hoed. And we were like, holy fuck, dude. He's so fucking committed. Yeah. To just, so good. Because when yeah. he just sets an alarm at three in the morning, he's like, <laughs> yeah. all right, fucking here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, he, he goes all in. He, he puts, he on, he the puts on the costume, <laughs> goes in the living room, starts unloading shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking God. Damn. Anyway, that that's, was, that's why my... he that's why he told you. Because he was yeah. just thinking about he it. Felt, he, was, yeah, it was, he was planning yeah, he ahead. Was, he felt bad. He was probably boxing up the Santa outfit. He's like, I'm not doing this shit again. <laughs> hey, Spot, you know, you know this dude. motherfucker's not real, right? It's not All real. All right, cool. I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm fuck off with this. Yo, I'm going to make the thumbnail of this special guest, and it's just going to be in Spock in both seats. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I just had to share that shit. Because, I, dude, I listened to the podcast. I've no, told you guys, yeah. but... It's a good pod, guys. You if you have this one, yeah, yeah, Dude, no. the homies yeah. listen. I, was, no. I told told Noel because I travel, so I was telling yeah. you on your podcast. Yeah. I always just put that shit on on airplanes and shit. Nice, bro. Yeah, Damn. fall asleep to it. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. No, I actually don't. I don't. I listen to yours. I listen to Dobrik's. I listen to Cody's by itself. I listen to those, but I'll put on like some bullshit one that I don't care about when For I want sure. when I want to pass out. So this so. one. Yeah. So this one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyways. All right. Well, damn. Hey, gang. Here, do the. Tell them bye. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we got to get better board. equipment, dude. Well, this, this shit fest of an episode, it actually turned out all right. Yeah. I think it turned out Yeah, it's a, it's a, this one's a dinger, too. Look, show this Saturday, December 2nd, mixtape, December 15th. Load your fucking ears up. Get load ready. Your, load your, get your Walkman ready. Get your Walkman ready. Get your fucking boombox ready to go. Buy some blank CDs. You're going to want to burn this shit. <laughs> Pass it out. Pass it out. On your, on downtown. Okay. On your local streets. Pass this, that shit out. This shit's about a ding dang. You're going to feel like your, your dinger hit the toilet water. Yeah, you're about to get hing dinged right in your little hum dummed and uh, zo bum. zoomered. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Me and my buddy narrated Floyd versus Pacquiao in like 1950s boxers voices, and that's all I'm thinking about because okay. we were just being e exceptionally crass. But just like Big China comes in with a big left, hits him with a zinger, <laughs> whops him in a mala whop, and ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. we did that for like half the thing. It was fucking so stupid. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, and any any plugs? No. Go follow Spock. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's it. Tiny shout out gang. Tiny Me Gang. Shout out Tryptophan. Peace. Peace. See you next week. We're gay.